the common problem I see with everybody. Creating polarity on too small of time frames. So when we break this move down, right, and we see that you guys are trying to be inside the one minute candles, right? And you're you're in, in these time frames in the one minute candles, you are saying, okay, I'm on a one minute time frame. Let me find the three minute valley. So so you are agreeing. So this is what you're doing. You are saying, and this is what you guys know because I've I've told you this before. So exterior moments create the polarity. Exterior events, they create polarity, right? Exterior creates polarity, interior decides polarity. So that What's happening here is you guys are saying, okay, we're on the one minute chart and we are agreeing that this will decide polarity. So the one minute is going like this and we're saying, okay, we agree that the interior decides polarity. And you guys, the first thing you do is you move to the three minute time frame, which is you were agreeing that you are saying exterior on the three minute is creating polarity. So you have basically said, oh, a five minute can't exist, a 15 can't exist, a one hour, a four hour, a 12 hour, a daily, a weekly, a monthly. You are saying by doing this one to three, you are saying that none of these can exist because what you're agreeing with is that the three minute is creating polarity. Well, what happened to the five minute? Why can't the five minute create the polarity for the three minute, right? Well, why can't the erase this this way? Do that, do this, do that, scrub all that out and scrub that out. So, so what happened to the higher time frames where you're saying, oh, if the three minute is creating polarity, we must be saying that the five minute doesn't exist. So 15 an hour, you're four and 12 on a daily. So, so you're, you're just creating an issue right there off the start. You can use the one minute to say, okay, in this interior decides what's happening, polarity. But what is creating that polarity becomes a real question, right? Like daily could create polarity. If there's no polarity there, then we can move down to the 12 hour and say the 12 hour can create polarity. If the 12 hour is what creates polarity, everything below that can decide it. Right. So then you can say, okay, the, everything in the red can decide polarity if the 12 hour was creating polarity. Well, maybe there is no 12 hour moment there. So let's just delete that. Right. Let's just say there is no daily or, or, or anything like that. There's, we just don't have enough time frames here. So what we're saying is, okay, there's no hold levels on the daily. Okay. There's no hold levels on the 12 hour. Okay. There's nothing on the four hour. Oh, wait a second. We have something on the hourly. Okay. We're already on the 15 minutes. So we'll go with that. And we'll say, okay, there is nothing on the hourly. There's only the, 15 minute, which, which we see right here. Okay. The 15 minute is deciding polarity. So, so that can be decided on any one of these timeframes. So that's the difference between interior and exterior, right? Your interior here is in, actually, let's do it properly here. Let's go like this. Your exterior moment now is existing here, right? Which is saying we are creating polarity. That means anything below it is deciding polarity. So that means anything in these timeframes can decide polarity. If you are doing it the other way, which is the way you guys are doing it. So again, that's the common theme that I see between everybody in, in this <laughs> is that they do this. Okay. They go like this and they say, okay, I'm on the one minute chart. Let me move up in time frames like this to find these moments of polarity. You guys are doing it wrong. You, you guys are basically trying to justify the next time frame up and ignore everything. So if you're jumping from the one minute to the three minute to find polarity, again, you're basically saying that polarity doesn't exist here. So you're already like giving yourself the wrong information to start with because you can't see the polarized moments. Okay. So this right here, we can see 15 minute. Well, there's, there's no polarity to be had there. So if you go to the five minute for me now, right. Okay. So fine. We can mark this level on the five minute, right? We can mark this. So start, start moving this here to that level there. Nope. You leave that one. That's the 15 minute polarity, which we've already tested here. That's fine. Let's find the next point. Yep, right there, which is perfect. Go to the three minute now. Great, go to the one minute. Oh, there it is right there. That's the latter point, right? So this is the problem right now. Now delete this level. You guys will go like this and look back this way. You guys will be on a one minute time frame, looking back and saying, oh, this is the final level. There's nothing tested. Mark this for me. Move forward. Yep. Oh, okay. Perfect. So then this is the next level. Mark that for me. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. Mark this one for me. 
the body. Yep. Perfect. Looks good. Mark. Well, we can mark this one. That's the next one. Mark that one for me. Yep. Gets hit there. And then increase your screen size. Scrub it for me there. So, so you've created a situation where you're you now, now you're in this trade. Okay. And you can even mark this one here now too. So this is what's happening. You guys are here in the one minute, right? And you guys are sitting here saying, oh, there's no more tested levels above this. I should long, right? So now what you guys do is you guys go to the three minute because this is what you guys are doing. You're working forwards in time frames. So go to the three minute. And you're already in this trade saying, oh, look, there's no untested levels. They're all tested. And you've worked up and you've made this decision the wrong way because you're saying that the three minute creates polarity here because you're saying, look, we've got a tested level here. Can't be that. Let's, let's X all the levels. It can't be. Can't be this one. Can't be this one. Can't be this one. Can't be this one. Can't be this one right here. The X's are tested, is it? You're talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Can't be. And that's it. You could have potentially had this here. And it can't be this one. So now you guys are in this trade saying, oh, there's no more tested levels. We're in polarity. Because you worked the wrong way. Because what you did is you said that interior is on the one minute exterior is on the three so so when you guys go through higher time frames and again like i said i've seen everybody do this okay i've seen everybody be in a one minute chart and when i say go to a higher time frame you guys go here and then you guys go here and here and here because you are trying to justify polarity in those moments right you are trying to justify the polarity based on a time frame that's inaccurate That's what people are doing right now. If we do the same thing and um, we go to a one hour to start, let's start there to, to create polarity. Now let's start the other way. So let's mark a level here. Okay, good. Go to the next time frame down. And you're saying, okay, polarity exists. Okay, polarity could be here. Let's go to that right there. Yep, good. Now we can delete this because that's tested because this, this isn't going to be tested now. And, and it was tested in that moment, right? Like the hourly was here and it was tested right here, which is fine. That's tested. It moves down. So we can simply go to the 15 and start the highest ladder point. Okay, that's tested there. Perfect. We have our first point. You can mark this now. Great. Let's go to the next time frame down. You can move it to right here. Oh, sorry. You can move it to right here. You can just delete this one. We're just going to work with the same level, right? Now you can take the three minute now. And this was tested right there. Just, just to illustrate anyways. That's fine. You can go to the three minute. And this was tested here, right? So now you can go to the one minute. Right there. Greediest point. Yep. You can move it there. Right now you can go to a higher time frame. Just go to a 15 minute or whatever. And now you can see ladder, 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 right? Cause you guys are working the wrong way, trying to justify all these untested pieces of this. You can go to the hourly here. All of a sudden it's an untested level. Ladder, ladder, ladder on a bigger time frame. The key here is ladder, ladder, ladder. So anything that doesn't reach this can ladder this move down. So anything inside of there can be a hold level on a larger time frame. The key being is that there's only going to be one final level, which was this one minute right here. That gets hit and respected. It's just simply ladder, ladder, ladder. If you go to the four hour chart here, and you mark your trend now from, oops, sorry. Yeah, you could just mark your four hour trend. You know where, where to do it. Wrong tool. Yep. Top of the move, right? Now go to your smaller time frame. One hour. Is that is that last blue candle not testing that hold cotton? And does that not matter? Because it held. Is that it? Which one? The very last candle there has wicked to that hold level, yeah. Wicked through this hold level here? It yes. Okay, so what's well, the question? It's, 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 
Uh, I suppose it, it, it's, it, it, it doesn't invalidate your ladder, so it, yep. you don't worry about that too much. It's health. The whole level is health. Yep. Yeah, okay, okay. Again, so, I suppose so, my point, my question is that that last candle has actually tested that whole level, but the whole level has held, so that's good enough. Mm -hmm. okay, and and okay. you, you, you simply have your trend this way too, right? Like, again, exterior moments defined by interior events. So it would be right here. Hard close out properly. Exterior moments create polarity. Interior moments decide polarity. So what you guys are missing here, you too, Dilbert, when, you, when, you, when you're saying like, oh, this was tested. Exterior-wise, it was not tested. Exterior moments create polarity. Ladder, 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 right? Interior moments decide polarity. Polarity is discovered on exterior events. So if you work your time frames from this side down, you will find polarity. If you are working them from this side, you will not find polarity. So that, that's why you're not seeing that, Dilbert, because you didn't start with the highest time frame. You're, you're too interior in your move. You're sitting there on one minute charts saying, okay, this is polarity because it was tested. So that's already tested polarity, but it's not tested on the large time frame. So polarity can't exist there. All you have is a decision that's made based on polarity. So take, do me a favor and take the replay tool and cut it off right there. I guess there's higher time frame, one minutes or whatever, three minutes above that that haven't been tested on these higher time frames either. Like, where do you stop? You know, it's to be constant. Nope. Look, ladder one, ladder two in this moment. You have yeah, but it could come already. up to the first ladder. It could come back up to that first ladder and ladder off that, you know, or even go above that and ladder off something else again. Well, if like, it goes where above do you this, set your stops? If, this, if you go above this, this is polarity from a larger event, right? Now you're too interior again. So you're getting into the same problem over and over and over. If you're sitting here justifying ladder points here, you're too interior to even the bigger event out here. So your polarity is created exterior, which is right here. That's polarity because that's created on the exterior, right? So then if that's polarity, that means you go above this level, you break up to the next range. You stay below it, you short. So you're, trying, you're getting into the same habit, trying to justify what's inside of here to the entirety of the move. Because there could be a hold level in here, but that doesn't create polarity. That's not where polarity is created. Polarity is created from the exterior. So even, so, even, even right here in this moment, if we were in this trade, ladder one, ladder two, and we have a higher time frame trend. So if this is true, if this is true, we know that this is already tested. So you, you can actually delete that level. Uh, this first one? Yep, you can delete it. It's already tested. So this is the only level that matters right now. We're on the higher time frame, right? We've created polarity on the higher time frame, and we've found it on the interior moment. So if you go to a one minute chart now, you'll see anything up. Okay, actually go back to that one hour for a second. Anything below this right here, anything below the top of this, whatever the greediest hold level is in there, could that not just create the next part of the ladder? which is polarity because if that's the final level anything above that is going to break the range so we have to stay below this so if we literally went to a one minute candle and found the greediest level off of that yep yeah, go you find the greediest level which is right here as long as you stay under this you're still laddering down that's an interior decision that is created by an exterior moment. So now just hit play and see what happens. Well, you're going to see what happens. Even, even here, draw your trend. Oh, you have your bottom side trend. Perfect. Yep, go ahead. Oh, trading view is so slow. Wow. There we go. A little snappier now. You have your bottom side trend. You might need to uh, adjust your trend here, I think. So now you need to uh, hard close your trend. Probably a bigger time frame first. Remember, you're working the wrong way here. Start on the 15 or the hourly, because we created this on the four hour to the hourly. So you missed the time frame, right? Yep. I mean, it doesn't hard close, right? Right. So so now wait for the hard close. So play it through and wait for the hard close. Play it through. Good. Stop right there. Go back into your one-minute chart. 
Okay, let's see what happens now. Level gets hit perfectly. Okay, pause. Go to your five minute, I believe we were on. Was it the five minute that we already done or was it the three minute? Well, can't have been. Where's the, uh, where's the reach point in here? Hover over the trend for me. It was the five minute, I believe. Okay, then go to the three minute and hard close the three minute. To right there. Yep. Right. Level gets hit. You've got your trend. Yep. Just hit play. Yeah, there it is right there. And this, you can pause it. And this was already hit. Right. So you hit that hard close trend. Move's gone. So again, you guys are just looking too interior on this move. It's way too interior to make these decisions. Interior moments give you decision points. Exterior moments create polarity. So if you go back to the hourly now, we'll see what it looks like after we played it through. Now you can see where the ladder is formed with a trend that doesn't hard close and a trend that's lost on the bottom side. So if you go down in your charts now, like, um, oh, sorry, not, not in time frame. I mean down as in on the chart here. Yep. What are we on the hourly? Sure. Mark that level for me. I think there's something else. Um, go to a 15 minute now. We have to find the untested ranges here. Uh, yep. And are you, are, you, are, you, are you looking for your target now? This one here. Yep. The body. Yep. Greediest level on the highest time frame creates polarity. So now just, just hit play. You should set a buy here probably. Or it should be target from this trade here. This one's already tested, right? That's already tested there. So we can't use that one. We can't use this one here. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Exterior moment. Interior decision. Exterior. The hourly. Exterior moment. Nope, we did the hourly. The hourly was down here. Exterior moment. Interior decision. Exterior moment. Interior decision. You see, you guys are working the wrong way in the charts. You guys are on the one minute charts trying to justify time frames in the wrong direction. You guys are working from this side going up, which is, it will, it will always give you a mistake. Like what you saw, it will always give you a mistake. Interior. And then if you're going to make a decision, start out here and then work your way down to what's available. Because even if you go to the hour to here, develop. Okay. So Mark, Mark that. Okay, that's polarity. Let's go to the next time frame because there's no polarity after this. Like there's nothing here. From here to here, there's nothing from the top to the bottom. So you can just go down to your next time frame. Yeah, perfect. This one's tested already right here. That's tested. This is the untested level. Perfect entry. Actually, perfect entry. Exterior creates polarity, interior decides polarity. You can't, you can't, again, you can't, you can't go on a one minute and say this is interior. And then the three minute is exterior, I and E, interior and exterior. If you do that, you're saying that none of these exist. So it doesn't surprise me that people are losing money on trades and getting liquidated when this is the procedure that they're doing. Right? You have to start, you have to make a decision here and work this way back to that moment where you make a decision. You have to work through each of these 